I'm Tommy. I'm from the School of Resource and Environmental Management, where I'm a PhD student. I'm also a laboratory uh, manager over at the Climate, Oceans, and Paleo Environments Laboratory. I also teach in the in Faculty of Environment underneath the uh, School of Environmental Science. The focus of my research right now is on carbon, and I have partnered with Parks Canada right now, and I'm looking to evaluate carbon storage and fluxes uh, within Canada's national parks. The overall goal is to provide a synthesis of carbon storage and flux data to Parks Canada so that if at some point in time some top-down politician decides, okay, we need to assess carbon as part of a climate change mitigation action or portfolio of solutions and we need to start tackling this for our protected areas, Parks Canada will be ready and saying we've already defined the problem and now we have some potential solutions for you. One particular teaching moment um, in environmental science last summer, it's a summer course, I can remember the exact place and time when all of my students had realized that they were out of cell phone service range. And it was quite cool in the field to be walking down the path and have all of your students behind you going, oh my gosh, we're out of it, this is the end, this is the end of the world. What's over there? Is that more woods? I can't, I don't know. Well, how do we proceed with this? And they, they literally stopped in their tracks. I kept going and about 50 feet I turned around and looked and said, what are you doing? Come on, keep going. And all of a sudden they, they just questioned everything around them. When I became an undergrad in the United States, um, I was all about the environment and I loved ecology and I just loved to get my hands dirty and I loved to play. Maybe I was a bit you know, childlike or I think the word is neotomy, retaining childlike qualities into your adulthood. So I thought the natural pursuit for me would have been biology. Biology, the study of living organisms. Like, wow, what a better way to pursue. But certain faculties didn't quite have the emphasis on ecology that, that, I, was, that I was aware of. Had there been an environmental science department, I would have jumped all over it, knowing that there are field experiences, there are co-op opportunities, especially um, in this faculty. So knowing that, that that's there, it should be a huge relief to those people who still feel some sort of connectedness with the natural world.